crazy mother what is going on all you people out there that are wanting to learn switch tricks as you can tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about five tricks that you're going to want to learn when you start wanting to learn switch tricks um just like all the other videos i make like this i have a list of five tricks that i'm going to be doing like a mini trick tip on that will hopefully help you guys out to learn these five tricks and these are important because they're switch tricks so like this video is kind of for the people that have been skating for quite some time and you have like you have like a bunch of regular tricks like you have a, a good handful not even a handful like more than a handful of tricks already regular but you don't have any switch tricks yet because switch tricks are really hard switch tricks are basically like learning skateboarding all over again because you're doing it with your opposite foot if you don't know what switch is switch is basically riding your skateboard with your back foot in the front so riding it riding your skateboard backwards basically so like if you're right-handed it's trying it's like trying to write with your left hand that would be switch so if you're regular that means you write with your right hand and if you want to do something switch you write it with your left hand even though regular is with your left foot in front anyway you guys hopefully that made sense to you guys all you skaters know what i'm talking about that was for all the people that don't skate that are watching this video for some reason but anyway like i said i have a list of five switch tricks that you're probably gonna want to learn first when you start learning switch tricks so yeah hopefully this video helps you out okay and like i say in almost all of these videos that i make these five tricks i picked out because to me they're the simplest tricks to do when you're very first learning these types of tricks and they're the first five tricks that i learned when i started so hopefully my little bit of knowledge about these tricks affects you guys and hopefully leads you guys to landing these tricks and i'm gonna say this right now these switch tricks well they're easy they're the, they're the basic switch tricks but um, they're hard just because they're switch so if you if you've been trying switch tricks or if you watch this video and then you start trying switch switch tricks and it gets hard and frustrating don't give up because um it's it's normal switch tricks are really really hard like i said learning switch tricks is basically like learning how to skate all over again because you're using your opposite foot and like i said with the hand writing thing but anyway i'm gonna get right into this because i don't want to make this video longer than it should be i say that with like all the videos and they all end up being really long anyway but anyway the five switch tricks that i'm gonna be giving a little mini trick tip on today are switch ollie of course switch 180 switch switch kick flip switch heel flip and switch pop shove it and the hardest one out of all of these to me is switch flip switch heel is probably probably like the second easiest one and that's just in my opinion i love switch heels like once i get to the switch heel section of this video i'm just gonna have so much fun demonstrating switch heels and doing a switch heel because i love switch heels switch heel is my favorite out of this list but anyway like i said this is for all of you out there that have been skating for quite some time and you have a good amount of regular tricks and now you want to start learning switch tricks you don't want to start learning switch tricks right when you start skating because um it's so difficult it's 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 really really hard you're gonna want to have a good amount of regular tricks before you start trying switch tricks okay so since i said that this video is for all of you guys that have been skating and everything i'm not gonna get uh too far into detail on like switch ollie and all that stuff because you're gonna want to have your feet in the same exact position as you would regular so um i'm gonna i'm gonna see how i'm gonna demonstrate this i don't even know how this video is gonna go yet okay first trick switch ollie you're gonna want to pretty much have your foot just like i said in the same exact position as you would when you're doing a regular ollie but for me what i feel is like a little bit more comfortable and this is just for me maybe it's gonna um, help for you guys too i'm goofy so i ride with my right foot in front so for me when i do switch ollies um instead of having it exactly Oh, almost fell instead of having it exactly like i would with a regular ollie which would kind of be something like that my front foot i kind of put it a little bit more back like right in the middle and i kind of and i kind of do that i kind of tilt it a little bit i don't know why but that's a little bit more comfortable for me and then when i do it it's just a lot easier for some reason just because it's switch is going to be like a lot more uncomfortable so you're going to want to adjust your foot to whatever feels comfortable for you and that's what feels comfortable to me i don't know why I, it's just that's just what's comfortable for me i feel like explaining switch tricks and the foot stance of switch tricks is a lot more difficult to explain because that is it's like really really uncomfortable so you guys really have to like do it however you feel comfortable i'm just going to show you guys how i do these tricks but switch ollie is the most important one because with switch ollie you're gonna be you're gonna if you have good switch ollies you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable doing all these other switch tricks 
All right, that switch ollie was kind of stupid, but um, they're still they're still kind of uncomfortable for me, and I, and I'm kind of in a rush because I'm gonna film another video after this video. But yeah, switch ollies. I kind of feel like switch ollies will always be a little bit uncomfortable. But the secret to learning switch ollies first is if you have nollies, you're gonna wanna pretty much do the same exact thing. Like when you're rolling switch, you're gonna wanna picture yourself actually going this way and doing a nollie instead of going that way because that's gonna help out a lot more. Like your body is gonna feel like it's doing a nollie but you're really going switch. So you're kind of tricking your body into doing a switch ollie. It's like a cheat code for real life. Okay, hopefully that switch ollie little demonstration made sense to you guys but next trick uh let's see switch 180 okay switch 180s um feel a lot more comfortable than just a regular switch ollie for some reason but that's just my opinion but for switch 180 all you're gonna want to have is switch ollies to land this trick this one like i said feels a lot more comfortable and to me it's kind of it's a lot easier than a switch ollie switch ollies are just switch ollies are just uncomfortable for me for some reason but for a switch 180 exact same thing as a regular 180 my like i try to put my feet the exact same way as i do for a regular 180 that one doesn't change at all because that one's a lot more comfortable for me okay my foot position for a switch 180 is same as my regular 180s but if you guys don't know what that is i'm about to show you so when i'm rolling i like to have a lot of my toes hanging off and also just a little bit of my heel hanging off right there and i have my foot just under these bolts like that like that much away from the bolts like two fingers away from the bolts and then back foot aka front foot um just like a switch ollie just like a nollie just like a regular ollie um that that foot position that doesn't change at all this trick you're gonna want to turn your shoulders that's that's how this trick works you, ba you basically just do a switch ollie and then turn your shoulders a lot and then naturally your bottom half of your body is gonna follow the top half of your body so it should just work out if you guys really really just try switch 180 i guarantee you're gonna land it just a few times after you try it so yeah pretty much you do a switch ollie turn your shoulders a lot just like you're gonna want to turn your shoulders before you even pop before you even pop your foot down on the tail you're gonna want to already be twisting your shoulders because that's what's gonna make you continue the 180 all right sorry if i'm going if i'm going kind of fast but like i said um i don't want to make this video too long and i have another video to film today so um next trick switch flip okay like i said this one okay you know what i'm gonna save that one for last since that one's the hardest one next trick okay for me this one's a lot easier i'm just gonna do this one next and that's switch heel okay so switch heel you guys might think switch heel is really really hard but it's actually a lot easier than you think um like i said switch heel is one of my favorite tricks like i can do switch heel pretty much almost every try first try but anyway for switch heel my foot position is kind of the same as a switch 180 except my heel is going to want to be on the board more because it's a heel flip trick so when i do a switch heel that foot same exact thing as a regular switch ollie nollie regular ollie this one it barely changes for any trick but what i feel to be a little bit better is to have it exactly like an ollie but you're gonna want to do that just tilt your foot just a little bit i feel like that's a lot more comfortable with switch tricks because your body is naturally like wanting to go the other way because that's the natural way that you ride but i could be wrong i don't know that's just what that's just how it works in my head okay front foot just have your whole heat like you want all of this hanging off you want your heel as far on the board as you can pretty much line up okay here's here's an easy way to do it line up your heel like the back of your heel right here line that up with the bolts so you're going to have your heel lining up with these bolts like it just like that just like that see heel bolts oh my gosh i went right for the fucking camera when you pop you're gonna want to slide your heel like that and you're gonna want to flick it right right here right where your bo your board starts to curve right there that's like the sweet spot for most flip tricks and then your back foot just when you pop it your back foot just comes up gets out of the way when you see your grip tape land it and you're gonna want to flick it a little bit harder than a regular heel flip because it's switch and it's really uncomfortable so like when you flick it harder it's like a more guaranteed chance of the board actually flipping all the way around instead of like halfway or something you're definitely gonna want to be patient with that trick because it is one of the harder ones but once you learn it once you get the feel for it, it it's super easy okay next trick is switch pop shove it which for me is 
really, really hard for some reason. Like, it's so hard for some reason for me. But it is one of the first switch tricks that I learned, and it is one of the basic switch tricks um, when you're first learning how to do switch tricks. Uh, so yeah, a pop shove it. For me, it's just really uncomfortable. For you guys, it could be super easy. But yeah, that's just me. I don't know why it's so weird for me. See, like, I don't know why. I could just never, I can, I feel like I can never do that trick clean. Like, I feel like I can never do it to where it looks decently nice. It's just so uncomfortable for me. But my foot placement for this trick, pretty much the exact same as how I do it for a regular pop shove it, which is, I feel like I need to change my foot position for this trick because somehow it just, it just never works out clean for me. Um, but yeah, for how I do it is um, back foot, like I always say, pretty much like an ollie, but for me, I have my foot a, a little bit more on the board just so I can get the, the scoop and the turn of it. And then front foot, I kind of put it, um, I kind of put it put it anywhere I want as long as it's comfortable and as long as my foot is a little bit pointed like that that's just what's comfortable for me even though I can't do this trick comfortably but yeah right when I pop your front foot it just gets out of the way you just need to put your foot wherever feels comfortable while you're riding and, and, and until you pop the board that's all your front foot needs to be comfortable for so yeah pretty much have your back foot as much on the board as you can so you can get the scoop and the turn of it because like I said this is a switch trick so it's a little bit more difficult than doing it regular so basically if you can if you can just do this you can do a switch pop shove it and what kind of works for me is when you pop the pop shove it and the board starts spinning for me the board kind of goes that way a little bit so when I pop it it goes over this way a little bit so if you jump with the board that way that should keep the board under you um, a little bit more comfortably so um Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try this with my camera in my hand. Oh my gosh, okay, that's a bad idea because that trick is uncomfortable for me and I don't wanna be holding my camera when I do it. But yeah, um, the board kind of goes forward a little bit so right when you pop it, just jump where your board goes so you stay directly over your board and so your board stays directly under you. Okay, last but not least, switch flips. Like I said, this is the most difficult one in my opinion. Switch flips might be the easiest one for one of you guys. Um, but for me, switch flip is so hard. Switch for ollie, switch 180, switch heel, switch pop shove it. I can do all of those tricks either first or second try. But when it comes to switch flips, I can never do that trick first try. I used to be, I actually used to be really good at this trick, but then I just lost it. Like I just, I can do it. I just can't do it first or second try anymore. Okay, that one, that one I actually did first try. I'm pretty surprised. But um, it wasn't it wasn't as pretty as I would have liked it to be. But it was first try. Okay, switch flip. I I would say have your foot the, your feet the exact same way as you would a regular kick flip, but not for this trick. This one is so much harder, so much more uncomfortable. Um, so your feet is your feet are gonna have to be in a totally different position than a regular kick flip. So for me. How I do a regular kickflip is I have my foot mostly on the board, tilt it just a little bit right under these bolts and I just flip it because you know it's super comfortable. But for switch flip, that ain't the case. Mm -mm. What I do for a switch flip is I have, I tend to have my foot more in the middle of the board and more down from the board, more a lot more down than from the bolts. What I'm, what I'm saying is my foot is in the middle of the board but a lot far away from those bolts right there instead of when I do it regular and a lot more of my foot is hanging off. So. It looks, it looks kind of weird and kind of stupid, but um, when you're first learning this trick, this is what I was doing because it was uncomfortable and this was the most comfortable way uh, for me to do this trick. And your back foot um, is gonna wanna kind of be tilted like that and you're gonna wanna have it like in the middle of the tail like that. So middle of the tail with your back foot, front foot, um, pretty, much, pretty much like that. Even though that looks really weird and feels, it would probably feel really weird for you guys at first but it's a weird uncomfortable trick so that was that was stupid but um oh all right yeah something like that see that's exactly how my feet are just like that it's so weird to land tricks with my camera in my hand oh speaking of my camera my battery's dying i'll be back i gotta go change out my battery all right i'm back i'm back i'm back in business guys all right switch flips i'm un uncomfortable ass trick all right so like i was saying when you pop it you know just pop it like you would any other trick except uh have your foot halfway on the tail and kind of slant it a little bit uh that's just what works for me and then front foot kind of middle of the board a lot of my a lot of the heel of my foot is hanging off and then when you flip this trick you don't really want to flip it 
like you would a regular kickflip all the way up here and then flicking it right there because that motion to do with your opposite ankle is so hard to do when you're first learning this trick. So what I did when I very first started learning this trick is I flicked it right like way down here, like way right here, I would flip it right there. See, you see how much that flips? Because I don't know why that works out so well. I, maybe it's because a lot of your heel is hanging off. I don't really know why, but it works. Boom, see, I actually landed it. So yeah, like I said, this trick is, you're gonna wanna have patience for this trick. When you very first start trying it, you're probably gonna get all frustrated and upset, but um, that's normal because switch tricks are, they're just really hard. Like I said, they're like, it's like learning skating all over again. And like I said, also, I'm sorry if like, I didn't really get too into detail with each trick. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys like a brief explanation of how I do the trick and it might help you guys out. So um, if it does help you guys out, let me know in the comments. And if you want me to do a trick tip on any one of these tricks, also let me know in the comments. I'm actually gonna film a trick tip for one of these tricks right now. Spoiler alert, it's a switch heel. So a switch heel flip trick tip is gonna be up tomorrow. But if you guys want me to do a trick tip on switch kickflip, switch pop shove switch 180, switch ollie, any one of those, let me know in the comments and I will do it for you guys because switch tricks are hard and I wanna help you guys uh, get a little bit better at them. But anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video, start tomorrow's video. So if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, so if you would just click that little red button for me, I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.